Hello, hello, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, and it is time to return to Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. Okay. So, we are resuming the game. Apparently, Kitty can now talk. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Uh, just a figure of speech. She's just as grumpy as usual, but I guess it fits her. Why am I staring at her? Back to adventuring. Yeah, let's not ask on that. So let's, uh... Ooh, action figures. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... <laughs> I don't like this new situation at all. Uh, yeah. What's left of my once impressive action figure collection? I guess I'm growing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Completely useless right now. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. <laughs> I love it. That's Kitty, my, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know, not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. <laughs> I'd say she looks cute, but she's within earshot. Stop. <laughs> nah, I don't need it. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. <laughs> it's an embarrassing... <laughs> My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Really? Dead as... well, dead. Mm. No use. I don't think I'll bother her about it. Okay. That? That's Ron Dilbert. Ah! <laughs> He's really grumpy. Ron can't help us now. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Okay. Man, I hope I get to visit someday. <sighs> okay, I've got to get my head back in the game. Okay. Someday... Yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. Okay. Is there anything else? Wait. Oh, yeah. I think I've already done that. Alright. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Lemon? Whatever was in it has probably grown more powerful with time. Hmm. Oh, no. I never eat Lemon's cooking. He puts stuff in food. Weird stuff. Not on your life, buddy. Hmm. Door to Lemon's room, huh? Okay, let's, uh... Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. He's such a hippie, it hurts me mostly. Lemon's locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Mm. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. Mm, you've got a point. Wait, how about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really <clears throat> into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. 
Uh, he's away on that esoteric thing. There's no way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. Lemons locked the door. I can squeeze under doors. Lemon knows that. He made this door particularly unsuitable under. Remember? Oh, yeah, he did do that. Such such thing. thing. I have I this, have this long, long running here, here, even gas, gas on, on. And, and then the dorm explodes, and I'm not even slow to walk away. Wait, 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 I just stand there, there, there in tears. tears. No, no. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure I, I can bring myself, myself up in the oven. I'm a weak, weak, weak man. I'm, I'm not. Hey, hey, kitty, kitty. Think, think you can uh, uh, open that up for me real, real quick and then take it inside? Sure, sure thing, boss. As, as soon as, as I grow, grow opposable bones, bones, you're gonna have to band it up and do it, do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do, do it, dude. Uh, I, I can. Yes, yeah, you yeah. can. It's just fear. 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 Stupid, Stupid fear. fear. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. 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 Open, open, open the damn oven, oven for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yep, yep. I did, I did it. Hey, and there's Lemon's key. Oh, oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Well, at least we got the key. Except this cookie. <laughs> I think I'll take, take, take it, you know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either, either way. way. Yeah, because it might be helpful somehow. Achievement unlocked. I got an achievement. Kitten. Kitty, help! Oh, I wonder how I got that. Oh, I can't close that now. Well, I'm gonna lock the door with. Whoa. Lemon got a funky pad. I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. Hmm. My eyes. They water. Yeah. It's locked. I know it's locked. It's, it's always locked. Alright, Kitty. I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this patchouli stink is giving me dizzy spells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. <laughs> And now we got the notebook. Let's look at this. What is he it's one of those like oh 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 uh, tiny cute guitars. Ukulele, I know. It's cute. Oh no, my band days are long gone. Mm-hmm. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. Gaudy oh, hippie club. that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Hmm? What do you know? A pair of scissors. Yep. Hey! Could come in handy. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says, A compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. I don't know, that's actually... Page yeah. on the right says, Invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. 
I think that's helpful. It's a book, Lemon left open. Well, it compass. Yeah, we, we, we know. No need. I, I can read it myself. Okay. What about this incense stick? Of all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Okay. But truly, what else? Hmm. I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. Do I look like a lighter to you? <laughs> Tribal mask? I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. Hmm. I would not sleep with that thing above my head, I'll tell you that. Neither would I, to be honest. We thankfully have no need for it. Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism lately. Snob. <laughs> okay. I think that's everything in this room. Alright, I want to look at this. Uh, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? We need a source of heat, you dumbass. No use. I need to find a source of heat. Hey, kitty, let's talk. Kitty, we have gained access to Lemon's domain of degenerate debauchery. Easy on the hyperbole, buddy. It's just a bunch of hippie stuff. It's a lascivious lair of laziness and languor. All right, Shakespeare, and now. Hmm. All right. So, I need something. Oh. Uh, it's our one and only treasure light lighter. Yes, it is. Well, Lemon's lighter. I'm kind of afraid of working the over oven. Gonna grab this for a while. Mm-hmm. All right. No way, I need this. No way. It's our one and... Oh! I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. He's written everything in lemon juice. Yay! Let's moderately heat this baby. Yeah! Yes! It worked! Uh, lemon won too many cheesy detective novels. Alright, kitty. Now let's see this list here. <laughs> Woo! I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address. We're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something yeah. I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh, right. You've mentioned it. Let's go. But... We've got to try and rescue him. Yeah. All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess we have no lead yet. Lead. Sam Spade over here. You know how <laughs> you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that. Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Dark Compete, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town. Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, alright? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. <laughs> I like it. Chapter 1 Darkham.
All right, kitty, looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry-like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur's going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova. Let's get on with it. Rare. <laughs> I like kitty. A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> I'm not scared or anything. I just don't. You you talk to her, okay? Okay. Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy, what are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh... Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. <laughs> hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. Not until I get my fishy! Okay, alright. Alright, alright, settle down. Can't grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishmith soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. Oh, good grief, they're from Innsmouth. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, I'll give you that. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. Not okay. So... People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always <laughs> wondered about that. I just like to watch them. Sitting there. Clicking their little lies away. Okay... Yeah. Fishmouth's own. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, it's working. Hmm. I'd hate to have him do my taxes. Yeah. Not only do I have no use for it, it has no reason to exist. I can climb that thing, no problem. I just don't have a reason to. Hmm. Who has a fish doll? I think it's that little girl's fish doll. Yeah, let's get it. I can't reach it from down here. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. <laughs> okay. Fishmuts own. There. Now I'm that one guy in the other room reading the title out loud. That was as much interest as I... Nothing, Nothing to do with... with. Hmm. 
Ugh, never could stand fish. How people can eat that is beyond me. Yeah. Uh, I like, like that, that glass right, right there, there between me those, those monstrosities and me. me. Uh, we have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. Buzz. I see, I see what, you, what you did there. <laughs> What's this? Man, that's, that's one, one attractive, attractive dude. dude. Hmm. This is a picture of a million water like, like I need, 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 need to have, have it. Hmm. Uh, just just be clear, you're not making this up for personal, personal use. use. Okay. Hmm. Christopher Valiant Street. No, I've never heard of him. Neither have I. Tiny, Tiny Prince, Prince says his body, body was found headless on the street, 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 so they, they named it after him. Charming story. Hmm. Hmm. It's the door, door to the fishery. Hmm. It's closed, closed and locked. locked. We have bigger fish to... F I see what... Alright. Hmm, what's this graffiti here? That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. Hmm. It somehow looks old. Yeah? Wouldn't know what to do. It doesn't look like it'll snap me back to cathood, Buzz. Okay. Let's see here. Now, I don't need to go back in the apartment. I just want to check around here. Used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Is that is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? Um I gotta do something dumb. Back then, door. Now, wall. Okay, let's look at this bridge. You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. Hmm. Ever notice how philosophical bridges are? People come, people go. Ugh, friggin' thoughts, go away. <laughs> I doubt a little elevation would alter my perspective on things. Alright then. I... Nah, I need her around. No, looming tower. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. Really? I wonder if they can pump water up that high. I don't know. There's stock of a dozen people jumping off it. I guess you could call it popular. No thanks, I'll... I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't wanna. Alright. You know, I think that girl might be an ins... Well, not Fishmith, but Innsmith. this? That's Jeremiah Orn, Old Man Orn's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. Really? Hmm. Thanks for the post-generational job opportunity, Jerry. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. That's some ominous looking flora right there. Nah, really? I'm not a weeds guy, thanks. No thanks, I just went recently. Hmm. No idea who this guy is, but his beard looks real tentacly. Marsh? Got a nose or a beak? Man, Darkham City Council is all weird when it comes to statue choices. Hmm. I want nothing to do with this guy, whoever he is or was. Statues. Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. There's a guy inside, but I can't quite distinguish his face. Hmm. Evening. 
It sure is. Mm. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Mm. Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. Yeah. Gotta scoot. Hmm, Big D? Big D Street. No idea who this guy's either. Alright, let's look at the tiny print. Absent-minded professor and big proponent of video games in general. Will forever be remembered for always choosing keyboards over controllers. Man, they'll just name streets after anyone these days. <laughs> At least he was into video games. I'm sure this street sounds way naughtier than intended. I'm sure this... I'm sure... Thanks for supporting video games, Big D. <laughs> Let's look at these dolls here, and then we'll talk to this blonde here. I think she's Aww, up to something. look at the cute voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? On the other hand, who dared touch them? But they'd look great on that shelf near my bed. Hmm. These dolls are probably already voodooified and best left where they are. Go for dolls. I'm more of a laser pointer girl myself. Oh, is Baron some? What do you mean, some D who? Just Wikipedia, you slacker. Mm. The Baron's not to be trifled with. Okay. They haven't been formally introduced. Mm. Small window? This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? Hmm. A warm reddish orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. Uh, hello there? Password? Swordfish. Too classic. <laughs> uh, hello there? Password? Password. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> uh, hello there? Password? Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. <laughs> I love it. Even she can't squeeze in through there. Alright, let's talk with this blonde lady. It's a nice looking blonde lady. Yup. Yup, definitely a nice looking blonde lady. Yep. Okay. Hey there. Hello? Approaching the only women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. I'm sorry, miss, but I feel this strange urge to bother everyone I meet and ask a lot of questions. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I, uh, I have a B-shaped birthmark. Hmm. Nice evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? I think I'm misrepresenting myself here. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. <laughs> he told you? The gentleman dummy. Uh -huh. Oh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. Mm. I'm Margot, by the way. Made a new friend. <laughs> nice to meet you, Margot. Can I, I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Yeah. Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? Uh, 
I'm a... Never mind. Mm-hmm. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. Okay. Hmm. Gotta run. So run. Actually, I want to ask her something else. No. Got So... Hmm. Uh, hello there? Password? Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. Alright. Well, I think at this point, um, we're gonna save the game. And continue it next time. So let's save it here, and uh, next time around we'll work on figuring out what we need to do next. I have a feeling I gotta get in there. But I gotta fi and I also have to get that fishy. But there's tricks to doing it, and I'm not sure what I have to do yet. So, until next time, this is Rich Gale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X, so we invite you to subscribe to the game and check out some of the other playthroughs I've been doing. I am, uh, working my way through a bunch of other games right now. I am working my way through the last of the Monkey Island franchise, and a Tales from Monkey Island. I am also working my way with games with Call of Cthulhu in the name, uh, currently working on Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I do a bunch of runs through the game of Monstrum. I am working my way through the game Abduction. I am working my way through these, currently through Space Quest, since I had a little problems with um, Gabriel Knight 3. I'm currently, though, going to be starting the second Space Quest game. I am also working my way through the Doom franchise, following the same protagonist. That means I'm on Final Doom right now. And I'm also working my way through several point-and-click adventures, currently working on Lameplate City. And I've started the second case in that game. But until then, take care, and as always, have fun, please subscribe. Take care.